Hi, I'm Sean Carruthers, and welcome to How to Why on Butterscotch.com. In this series, we're taking a look at the Sonos system. In this episode, we're going to talk about controlling the Sonos system using AirPlay. Now, one of the recent features that has been added to the world of iOS devices is something called AirPlay, or the ability to push content directly from your iPad or your iPhone directly to another device that actually can play content. This includes things like the Apple TV, the Airport Express, and a few other devices that are coming out with AirPlay already built in. Now, while the Sonos players haven't actually had AirPlay built into them as of yet, there is a workaround you can use to actually make some of the Zone players work with AirPlay. What you are going to need is an Airport Express device, which you can purchase separately. First, you're going to take your Airport Express and plug it in. If you've previously used your Airport Express for another function around the house, you may want to do a hard reset on it first before you proceed. Next, you're going to connect the Airport Express to the back of your Sonos player using an Ethernet cable. Then you're going to connect an audio cable between the Sonos's line in, if it has it, and the airport's audio out. Now, if the Sonos device you've chosen, like the S3, doesn't have a line in, you won't be able to use it for this purpose. So make sure that the Sonos device that you've chosen actually has a line in. Next, you're going to fire up Airport Utility on your computer. Select the new Airport Express from the list. You may have to change your wireless network to connect directly to the Airport Express. Rename the Airport Express to Sonos. Then choose a password, and then hit Continue. You're going to choose, I want Airport Express to join my current network. And again, you'll hit Continue. On the Network Setup page, select, I want to disable the wireless network on this Airport Express and connect it to my computer or network using Ethernet. And then click Continue. Then click Update to restart the Airport Express with the new settings. Now you're going to go to your Sonos desktop controller, go to Zones, then Zone Player Settings, choose the player that you've hooked up to your Airport Express, and then click on Settings. Change the Zone Player's Line In Source settings to read AirPlay Device. Then select a zone to autoplay content from this line in source. Note that it doesn't actually have to be the same zone player that you're connected to. You can actually have it come in through one, but then stream it to one of the other devices on your network. In the settings here, you can also set up an initial volume. So if you want it to play quieter or louder when it first starts up via AirPlay, you can set that here. Once you finish the setup process, your Airport Express should now appear as an AirPlay option on your iPhone, iPad, or even iTunes. So you're going to start playing content on your portable device, and then you're going to press the AirPlay button. Select the Sonos option from the AirPlay list, and then it'll automatically start streaming to your Sonos device. Don't forget to check out the other parts in this series. We'll show you other things you can do with your Sonos system, and you see the show notes for how to set this up, and for all the other parts in the series at butterscotch.com.